Okay, welcome back to the 1990s, guys. We are in the middle of our biggest field of soybeans. We got a guy going in the combine over there, and then we got Nate, which is me and Buck's nephew, our sister's son in this gleaner combine. And then me and Buck are, we're running wagons. We're not even running the combines. And we'll pull under for Nate, because he is full. These beans are yielding really good, like really good. We're super happy with them. So to give you guys a rundown of where we're at for harvest, we have this wheat field is done and harvested. This soybean field right here, small soybean field done and harvested. And then we got this giant corn field here. And then we got like five or six big corn fields. The game plan is, is to sell some of these beans so we can get enough money to buy another 12 row corn header and possibly a grain cart. That way we could run a grain cart on maybe the quad track and then maybe some bigger wagons. But that's, we're kind of asking a lot there. So we got a full load on the 8400 too, like everything's full. So we got to get these to the elevator or something. Now, just so you guys know, like 100% being legit, this is a series where we do not cheat money. Like everything we have to pay in-game prices. We have a loan right now that we got to pay off. We have not cheated money so far. The only thing we've cheated money for, which technically we did cheat money, is for landscaping because it costs like a million dollars to build a cliff, it seems like. But all of our equipment and land, that's been us. That's been us growing crops and purchasing that. Nate, you on CB there? Yeah. Hey, it's probably going to be like a 30 minute round trip for me, so both of the wagons are full. You might have to sit tight until I get back if okay. you get full, but I'm going as fast as possible, 22 mile an hour. Uh, hey, put them on a truck. They might go faster. If I could afford a truck, we'd get a truck. Got to talk to the, the, the boss, though, and the boss doesn't want to buy a truck yet. He can go buy a brand new Cummins, but he can't buy a farm truck. Exactly. We just need an older semi truck or something like that so we can haul more grain one time. Have you seen the dress his wife was wearing? That was like a $2,000 dress. Like, he spoils her. Okay. Those are empty. We got $26,000 for those. That's not bad at all. And I guess we're going to go back and grab the 8400 and switch them out. Okay. And we are back with the wagons. He's got two full ones for me right there. So I got to keep it moving. We are knocking out beans. We have 38000 And then also... We got an idea to put some extensions on our other wagon so it can hold a little bit, little bit more grain. So I think we're gonna do that too. Spend a couple grand doing that. Hey uncle, who taught you how to drive? Was it grandma? <laughs> Are you as slow as her? Nate's empty. We're gonna go catch the other one over here. No, 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 Dustin, Dustin. Son of a gun. We have enough money now because I just took a load in for soybeans and another load in with 8,400. We have enough money. We're gonna sell these wagons, trade them in actually, for two brand new Brent gravity wagons. They just kind of came out with this model. Like it's one of the first years they came out with this model. They previously had the Brent 640s and now they have the 644s that are just like a brand new model they came out with that we're gonna purchase. And they're gonna be able to hold a lot more grain. It'll work good be behind the 8400. It's only gonna cost us some money. So these sell for about 10 grand each and those are about 20 grand each new. I know it's bad to stop in the middle of the road, but we got two Brent 644s that each hold 650 bushel. They just switched to this model number, like they just came out. We're unloading Dustin with the 644, and Nate should be somewhere down there. I think he's, he's got to be full by now. And there's Nate. We'll unload him. You're spilling it everywhere. I know, I know, I know. So Buck got the auger set up on this bin. So basically all of our beans are going to go into this bin now. All the rest of the beans we got. So we're not going to sell anymore. We don't need the cash. And the price is going to be a ton better, I think, next June, next summer. Okay, there we go. We are unloading. So we got Buck's 5020 hooked to the plow. We got to plow this whole field. It's going to take a while. But since we've got the 5020 and we're basically just going to have somebody run this and keep going back and forth and knock it out, this is going to get rid of this need plowing uh, state. Yeah, see, it's gone from there. And that'll give us, I think, like a 5 or 10% better yield by plowing this up. Because every couple of years, you got to plow it up and farm sim. And there's Buck with a full load. He's going to dump at the auger. And we're going to have that bin probably full soon. I took over the combine for dust in and it's working pretty good. Everything's flowing pretty good. The beans are dry. They're a little too dry on moisture. They're like 8% right now, which means we're losing yield because market price is 13%. So kind of sucks, but it's fine. They're at least flowing pretty good. So we're going to need another corn head for that N6 combine, which is a little smaller combine. So I think we decided we're going to go with an eight row, an Alice Chalmers eight row corn head. So it costs 28 grand. We kind of got enough money for this. So we're going to buy this for 28 grand. And we're really going to have to keep up with an eight row and a 12 row on corn. It's going to take a while. We're almost done finishing up. We got this little strip here. 
and we're done with so well no and then we got field 39 here of soybeans and then we're done with soybeans and we're on the corn so we're gonna send one combine one of these combines is gonna go, go down there finish up beans on this field and then the other combine is gonna start on some of these strips that are gonna take a while 18 here and get him going on strips we're toying with the idea of uh, getting some wagons on the quad track actually if we're staying close to home we don't travel too far that'd be perfect Okay, the N7, Gleaner N7 is done, and we're going to let Nate finish up this field, and then this one's going to go to the next field. These knife guards are giant on this header. I just realized that. Oh my gosh, that is insane. So here's Buck's place. Buck lives here, and then uh, Nate also lives with him while he's staying here. And then here's the soybean field. It's not much. It's kind of a small little field along here, but it'll work it. It'll literally be like three or four passes up and down, and then we're done with this field. Ooh, the yield bonus is super good. It's 98%. Hey, is anybody on the CB? Or am I talking to no. myself again? How's it going over in your parts of the county? Boring. Going in circles. What are you running right now? The Steiger. Oh, you're, running the, you're the first one to run the quad track? Yeah. Currently do, uh, tilling up the wheat fields since we don't need any more straw. Okay, we are on the last pass of this field. Everything's been going good. I'm ready to be done with beans and on to corn. Because in corn we fly. It's crazy. Buck's going to be crapping his pants trying to keep up with us probably. And there we go. We are done with this field. We're going to go to corn. I'm excited. You want me to just take this to the elevator or put it in the bins? Uh, I'd say we could just put it in the bins. Do we have room in the bins? I think we still have a little bit left. Okay. Are you faster than me or am I faster than you? Well, if I wasn't under load, I'd probably be about the same. But you ain't fitting through the gate that's over I here. I know. I, I had to cut through the ditch last time. Hold on. I don't know if I'd get up that hill. So oh, I you got it, gotta Buck. Go you got a sketchy crick crossing here. Yeah, Buck, take her slow. <laughs> Oh, it worked. Full send. Full sends only. Well, we got Dustin out there doing a little Dustin with the quad track. Okay, we're going to get hooked up to the corn head. This is going to be exciting. I'm going to need Buck on my tail right away, pretty much. And we're going to start on this field right here. Yield bonus is 81%. Not bad. So the corn's going to yield pretty good, I'm thinking. It's the home farm. We're gonna get the corn head unfolded. Yes, this is a little unrealistic to have a folding corn head. It's the only like gleaner color corn head we could find though. So we kind of have to do it. Here we go. I'm gonna need buck very soon. This is gonna be good. I think this corn's gonna yield pretty good. We got the combine changed over. And I missed the first two rows at the start. Okay, she is eating corn, baby. She is eating corn. We're 10% full. Grand total, 128,088 liters. Okay, well, you better come down to me because I'm going to be full soon, buddy. Man, I love this cleaner combine. This this has got to be one of my favorite combines of FS22. It is. Um, oh, shoot, we're missing corn. Hurry it up, Buck. We're going to be full. Okay, Buck, it's going to be close, but I should be able to make it back around to the helm, uh, to my house pretty much. It, I'm going to be right at full, though. Hey, I really doubt you. I, I doubt that. Okay, so I might need you to follow me then. And Buck's full of corn. There you go. Go get him, Buck. Well, guys, it's officially December, and it is freezing outside, actually. It's close to 40 degrees. We got kind of a late start because we had some snow overnight that melted off. For the past two months, it's been pretty much rain every day, and we've had trouble harvesting. And so finally, the ground's like frozen, and it's not muddy, and we can actually go out on the ground. So we're going to get a start at harvesting, but it's December 1st. We didn't move the combine in November at all. And that's very unusual for this part, but it is what it is. So we're going to get started. We got Nate coming over and then we got Buck coming over and we're going to get a late start today. Got the gleaner and the cold storage, so we'll have to get that out. And got to get some a couple other tractors out. The wagons have been sitting outside, but everything else should be ready to go. Yeah, Grant here. Hey, Uncle, I got a question. You said you were looking for a grain cart, right? Yeah, if you can find a grain cart, we take a grain cart. We don't have the money right now, but we should once we sell some grain. Well, over there at Richard's house, he has a grain cart sitting out front with a for sale sign. I think his wife's making him get rid of it. Wait, how do you know Richard? Well, uh, Did Buck tell you about him and Nancy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's down at Richard's place. What is it? It looks like a Kenzie. Okay, uh, what model? No clue. Didn't look that hard. Okay. Is it new or old? Looks a little bit newer. Okay. Um, it looks like it'd be perfect for us. I'll meet you. Do you talk to Richard? Do you have, can you have Buck talk to Richard? Uh, I haven't talked to him yet. I just was going by the other day when I was going to meet some of my friends. But uh, we can go look at it together. Okay, I'll, uh, how far away are you? I'll meet you down there. I'm at Buck's house. Okay, perfect. I'll race you down there. Grab Buck's checkbook also. We I might need it. I already got that. 
Okay. I already had that before I left. Okay, we'll get the old 72 out and get going. Sounds like he's got a green cart that might be good. We don't have the money, but the green carts don't come up that often around this area. If we can find a nice used one, that'd be nice. Before you were born, me and Buck were here buying a Alice Chalmers uh, four-wheel drive. This exact spot. Richard had one for sale. We bought it from him. We got rid of it. You probably don't even know what it is. Too young. But anyways, got a Kinsey 1050. I bet you this thing isn't even six months old. He must have just got this. Hey, there's Richard. What kind of a car is he driving? Oh, no. He's he's done well for himself the past couple of years. Richard, long time yeah, no sir. see. You yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing? Good, good. Sweet. Well, uh, I see I, I see. you called me earlier. Someone left a voicemail. Not me. Someone someone left me a letter that said they were interested in the car. And by the by the terms of money, I know that that's well, you. Well, I think, I think it was my nephew, Nate, here. Nate, this is Richard. Oh. Richard, this is Nate. Me How you doing? Sir? Nice to meet you. Sir. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Me and Richard, or me, me and Richard go way back, Nate. Um, what? Five years oh, old? Six years old? Sent, we were oh, playing definitely together. since grade school. Definitely yeah. since grade school. Yeah. And then I bought some equipment from him over the past. Good guy here. Now, I'll tell you what. That Nancy chick, I heard she was trying to hook up with them, some skank down at the bar last week. And she still can't get herself uh, carried up. I told you I'd dump that lady. That was the best decision of my life. I've had more money to blow through and things to go shopping with. And I've kept this place up and running more better than it's ever been. It looks good. It looks good. Oh, yeah. You've done, you've done well since since you got rid mm -hmm. of Nancy. The, now, you probably wonder why I'm getting rid of a brand new car for almost half the price. Is it really yeah, half the much. price? No, it's, it's a little bit cheaper than it should be, probably. But that's also because I'm more of a wheeler dealer now. I get the work out of the co-op. I, uh, I buy new equipment here, and then I sell and buy and trade and buy at auctions. Oh, so you're I reselling really this. Things. Uh huh. That's oh, okay. how I got your business truck. Yeah, I heard he keeps telling me right now. Apparently, he's at his in-laws doing something with a late Thanksgiving. He's saying that's how he got his truck. I bought that. I bought his Chevy from him for about the same price as I did that. So it was a wash. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So okay. quit giving him heck for that. Yeah. Because yeah. he doesn't deserve it. But either way, let's get to this car, all right? I see you like this little 1050, don't what, you? How long ago did somebody buy this? It's only a couple months old. Oh yeah, this thing. The guy, uh, I. Some guy bought it, didn't want it, because he ended up finding a pocket that he likes better. But then he sold this back to that. I went to the auction, got this, and apparently the auction wasn't very well advertised in the papers. So I ended up buying it for a steal, uh, roughly, I'd say about a third, if not even almost half of its price tag. Just because of the fact that there was, it's stupid. It was stupid. I got it for a steal. But I'm going to try and sell this thing for about fifty, uh, forty-five to fifty thousand dollars is what I'm looking for. Roughly fifty, because these things can book for about seventy. Okay. The only thing that could possibly be wrong, and if that is the reason the guy got rid of it, I don't know. There might be splices in the hydraulics, but I've checked over this thing. It should be 100 percent ready to go. Okay. Everything's big. I just hardly any scrapes on the paint. Yeah, not bad. Now, Nate, I got to tell you something, all right? You see this yellow staff right here? Yeah. Don't stick your fingers where you wouldn't stick your willy. I know a guy that had that happen one time, and next thing you know, and eh, let's just say things went the the, uh, the straightest for him. Richard, was that you that did it? No, I'm still intact. Now, if you really want a woman, what they really got to get is you got to get rid of that Chevy over there. You got to get yourself a Ford or something that's actually going to, you know, get the lady. Or oh, even this yourself a, a crew cab, a crew cab, second, first gen Cummins. I got a second one. You know how many women that car, that truck brings to Buck's house? There's Zero, always women because in Because they're always in for him, not you. Oh, no, 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 no. Buck don't know about it, but I've been using a spare bedroom for uh, my own personal use. <laughs> if I could just have a lie detector right now, I swear, I think it'd be going through the woof. <laughs> I don't know about all that now. <laughs> Well, here, are you here to buy a green card or what? I know Buck's gonna be on your rear end for this. No, I'm here for a comedy show. My gosh. Oh, God. You're here for a comedy show? All yeah. right, five bucks a ticket on top of the $50,000. You think I do this stuff for free? No, I'm a businessman. Oh, $50,000 or 45 Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, 50. hold up. We don't have the money right now, Nate. I'm trying to negotiate here. 45 50 It's starting to sound more like it, more like this guy. 45 at least the other, At least the other brother's got some common sense. No, I want $50,000. I'm not going to lose my skin on this one. Like my buddy who was too close 47. to the vehicle shaft. 47. Give us some wiggle room here now. We both know you, like you make a problem. Don't look like I'm a bonehead to you. No. $50,000 and that's firm. 
each and every day, I get better at negotiating. I do this for a living. You're only 19. You ain't got nothing in this experience. You have no idea what it's like to lose your skin multiple times and also be screwed over by a woman. All right? Until oh, you can it. understand that, I don't want to hear anyone that comes out of you. Yeah, that's a half your problem. I don't know. I used to be doing, you, you know what? what happened. That's how I picked up my other ex-wife. <laughs> Did you believe this guy? This guy's a joke. He thinks he knows the world. He's only 19. <laughs> 47. That's the end of the discussion. I'll give you a check for $50,000. I got to get back to work off my lunch break. Richard, we'll give you 49. 50,000. Well, I don't, I, it's not worth 50. I, I say we, we leave. That city's not even worth two. Neither is that Camaro. Well, we can't afford it right now. We'll have to come back or something. I did, if he lowers his price, we'll take it. But 50k, she's a little high. I mean, we could just back up one of trust to it and take it. <laughs> true. I true. mean, there ain't no loss on it, but we'll we'll think about it, Nate. We'll think about it. She's oh, come on, Chevy, keep up. Hey, sorry I was late. I swear if I have to hear that stupid story from my father-in-law about the screwdriver falling down the engine bay one more time, I am going to, I am going to just walk out of those family parties. Okay. It's, late Thanksgiving. It's all good. We got ah. started late too. You did? Okay. Say, so where do you want me? The uh, 8400 down there is about full. If you bring that to uh, the contoured field, we're gonna, me and Nate are gonna finish that field off, and then we'll keep going here back on the back 60. Okay. So that's not far enough. I'll just run down there. Okay. So we got a little bit of corn left on these contours. Nate was hitting it in early October. He was knocking this out. And we got a little bit left. So we're going to knock this out and then head back. And we got a lot of acres of corn to knock out. So that's why we are like, man, it'd be super nice to have that grain cart. Hey, Nate, you got a copy? Yes, yeah, sir. Do you happen to know where my truck was laying on the counter? This, I thought it was laying on the counter this morning. And I uh, went to go look and it wasn't there. Any particular reason why that's gone? Uh, no, the last time I heard anything about it was my uncle told me to grab it for, we need to get it like Hey, hey, shit, what, hey, whoa, well, we need to grab it for groceries for a donation, he was trying to say. We had to donate some canned soup. Heard to say gravity. You need a canned soup. Yep, uh, children. Why would you need a checkbook There was a soup? FF, uh, FFA children's I donation. I know you carry cash in your wallet. Why did you have my checkbook? They were only taking checks. The kids only want checks. It was for FFA, was Future Farmers of America. Is that cart that I know are, Richard's are trying sure? to sell? Is yeah. that the kind of canned food? Is it canned Kinsey? No. Yeah, that's kind of, I think that's what it was. It would increase productivity. You know what the research says? I mean, Kinsey came out with research that says... Yeah, and I'm already as far as up behind on my thing with the payments of anything else that we already own. You know, well, that's what, why I took your check, but that's why if it would have bounced, it would have bounced. Yeah, and that's, that's going to look good on my credit score. Buck, hear me out. Unlike you, I actually have to keep track of the finances. Oh wait, that's right, you were spoon-fed by your mother. Hear me out, Buck. The reason we need a grain cart is because a grain cart basically adds the efficiency of another combine almost. We're losing yield right now, Buck. It's December 1st and we don't even have our, we don't have 10% of our corn that's acres out. That's not my problem that you took a week's vacation to Tahiti. It was snowing, it was snowing. You can't oh, harvest in the, when it's downpouring and snow. We gotta get going, man. You were with family, having a, a family with the in-laws stuff. Yeah, and if I don't, I get served divorce papers. There's a difference. I already don't spend enough time with her. Now you take me out of that as well? Oh, man, you're asking for me to just have a downfall just in my relationship. What the heck the, do you expect out of me? Just put her in the grain cart. That'll work good. Yeah. She can spend more time with us. I was about to say, you have problems with her? I mean, she, she loves me. She feeds me. <laughs> she doesn't love you at all. Me. She puts on a face so that she can even deal with you. <laughs> No, no, she loves me. So Buck's gonna unload me on the go here. This corn is not yielding worth a crap. It's got, we put, we must have forgot to put fertilizer on it. It's, 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 look at that. It's doing horrible. So Buck's gonna swing around here. We're actually gonna load this up and try and get this bin completely full. So that way we have all of our hog buildings, cattle buildings completely full and then the rest we'll just take to the elevator. So Buck's unloading her and then we're unloading into the grain bin. This is working good. All right, I'm at the town then with the rest of this. Okay, so we're back in the 47. We got Dustin and Nate going on the combines there on the new field. Now we'll be taking these wagons here. Got a, a couple more bushels we can fit in, so we'll run over to Nate, we'll dump into us, and then we'll head to the elevator. There we go. Nate's unloading into us, and we'll be full soon here. There we go. We are full. We'll see you, Nate. Hey, Buck, you like that money flowing in? It's nice, but it's going to be enough to cover the sap bros bill for the fuel tank next month. Whose idea was it to buy more land and go big now? Now hey, buying the land is not a bad idea. 
Looks like we pulled in about 21,000 off of that. So we got the 5020 going with the five bottom plow. Basically, we got to go all the way to the edge of that soybean field, like way down there. All of these fields need plowed here. So he's going to go from here all the way over to this edge, which is going to be a while. But with a five bottom plow, a 5020, and a cab, and a radio, we're going to be just fine. That Gleaner N7 has to be one of our favorite combines. I want to keep that thing around as long as we can, as long as I can keep up with them, though. Okay, we got a full load. We're going out, and Buck should be coming down the road any set. There he is. No cop, no stop. We'll keep rolling. Okay, so I'm in the Gleaner N6. We're moving it to the next field over here. We're thinking, talking, maybe if we get enough money to go to 12 row on this, because we're keeping up. We're keeping up with the two wagons there. But so far, if we look on a map, we got field 30 done right here. That was corn. We got the strips of corn on 18 done. Now we're doing 20, which is a giant field. And then we have 35, 36, 37, and 38 left to do yet of corn. Okay, we're going to be unloading into Buck, and we should top him off here. You know, if we bought a green car, I don't even know if this auger would unload into it, the combine, if it'd be tall enough. Okay, so what we're doing is we are trading off, I talked to the salesman, we're trading off the N6. We're getting a N7 because it's only like 7,500 bucks more expensive. And an N7, we like our N7 way over N6. So we're going to trade this off. And then we're also going to trade off the eight row and get a 12 row corn head. The only thing is they only have brand new 12 row corn heads. So we got to buy a new 12 row corn head, which is going to be expensive. So we are going to sell these and buy a used N7. And also Buck is selling green right now. So we're getting more money. Okay, boys, the gleaner is ready to eat. We have officially traded. And after Buck sold his green, we still have $58,000 and we do not cheat money. That's one thing about this series. We do not, we have not cheated or anything. In fact, we couldn't afford the front wheel assist, so or the, the rear wheel assist, so we got a two wheel drive. And the corn head is a tad big for this thing. You'll notice the tire, the back tires like lift off the ground sometimes. Oh! We probably should have got the rear wheel assist. At 11 mile an hour, this thing eats corn, and we are gonna be able to knock out some acres. Okay, we got 1,300 bushels. We are full and heading out. The 8400 is chugging. Nate's going, and we, we are knocking out this cornfield so quick. We go 15th. I can't hit road gear in the field. It just, there's so much weight on these wagons. It just will not do it. I'll have to wait till we get on the road. We have $50,000 loan right now. We are gonna pay this loan off with the money we have. We're getting a lot of money in from harvest, and so we are gonna become debt free right now. We're debt free. We are making money. Well, guys, we're almost done with this field. Buck is having a tough time down there. We're knocking her out, though. We're doing good. But anyways, guys, it's going to be the end. Thanks for watching this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the 90s. And hey, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.